I've only given cash a few times in, in the course of what we're talking about. So you if we would go to dinner, let, let her finish her answer. If we would go to dinner, I wouldn't give him cash because he paid for dinner or I paid for dinner. I've given him cash only a few times in life, probably four. Probably the most money I've ever handed him is twenty five hundred dollars. The least amount of money I've handed him, probably between five hundred and a thousand dollars. Or pay him through cash app. No. Probably thinking, what the hell are we doing here? Fina Willis is probably thinking, getting that kid to run down was probably not the best option right about now. She pick up a battle that was too much for her. She pick up a case against the former president, Donald Trump, and it seems like things are back fine. She was so, the district attorney of Fulton County. Fina Willis be disqualified from the case against President Donald Trump well, and others. With no further ado, let's take a look at this video you guys let me know how you feel about this right did you ever pay him through cash app no you only ever paid him through cash what well, yes uh, what we're talking about i'm very confused you've never like, given mr wade money through cash app no the only this man is is fighting for the life of a lot of people in his eyes and the eyes of a lot of people and in the eyes of a lot of people at the same time this woman is trying to ruin a lot of good right I've ever given him outside of a contract is cash i didn't give him money in a contract so that was cute but i didn't give him money outside uh, in a contract what happened is no we don't answer it since you said it he worked he worked more hours than he was paid and the county paid him for the work that he did so don't be cute with me and then think that you're not going to get an answer years passed and finna willis is being grilled by the Fulton county court of atlanta and i will ask you about the contract in a minute i asked you about cash did you ever pay him anything and i'm trying to qualify my questions i'm not talking about the contract with Fulton county that, that was paid i'm not talking about that i'm talking about outside of that did you ever pay him anything other than cash I've only given cash a few times in, in the course of what we're talking about. So you've never if we would go to dinner, let, him, let her finish her answer. If we would go to dinner, I wouldn't give him <laughs> cash because he paid for dinner or I paid for dinner. I've given him cash only a few times in life, probably four. Fresh. Probably the most money I've ever handed him is $2,500. The least amount of money I've handed him, probably between $500 and $1,000. You never wrote him a check? Ma'am, I don't have checks. Okay. Um, so you have no proof of any reimbursement for any of these things because it was all cash, right? The testimony of one witness is enough to prove a fact. Stand up. These people get paid to do a job, and they're just doing a job at the end of the day. So my question you was, do you have any proof? proof? Is that what you're intimating right here? I'm asking if you have any proof that you paid him any I mean, of these The money. proof is what I just told you. You have no written proof. Is that correct? So I have some, um, probably some transactions like in Belize. I probably spent $500 on my card uh, in Belize. I spent 800, I can't remember, 900 bucks on each of our tickets to go to Belize. I did the $700. I probably got some <coughs> minor expenses in Aruba that would be on a card. But for the most part for those trips, other than, so the two cruises, I gave him money for those before we ever left um because they were pre -booked. let me answer well the, the, the question was if you had any written proof and so so i've answered you that i've had then written then we proof can move to the next question if you've answered if you had any written proof and that was my question um i, I want to make sure that we're clear that for the two cruises Judge, i asked if she gave him written proof, proof. We're not going to talk over <laughs> miss merchant she answered your question so you can ask the next question. You can miss Willis and Miss Cross will have plenty of opportunities to let you clarify your answers when it's her turn. Thank you, Judge. Knowing your role as district attorney, you know that public funds are scrutinized and money is scrutinized and things like that. You understand no, never, I'm sorry, go ahead. You understand you're under a microscope. You have reporting requirements, all of those types of things. Um, you have no record other than your testimony of the money that you've given Mr. Wade. You've already asked that question. Let's keep going. Um, when you took office, you had a tax lien of $4,600. Did you pay that with cash when you <clears throat> made that tax lien hole? I probably paid through uh, <clears throat> however you pay. Okay. So, but you were saying that you had amounts of cash. You still had that lien in 2022 when you were getting weighed and going on these trips. So, the cash that you gave him, that could have been used to pay this tax lien off? 
you gonna tell me how to pay my bills? This is not relevant as it relates to why we're here today. Ms. Merchant, um, if you are you trying to establish that she was insolvent in some way? Um, I definitely was trying to establish that, that she did not have these mass amounts of cash that she's talking about, yes. All right. Ask the, re -ask the question. Um, you had a tax lien in 2022, $4,600. Did you say I did? And you did not use this cash that you had to reimburse Mr. Wade to pay that off, correct? No. Okay. I went shopping too when I didn't pay it all. And you talked about, uh, you, you, gave a, you gave a lot of interviews to some authors of a book called Finding Books, right? I would not characterize it as a lot. I probably have spoken to them you know, two or say, three times. My question is relevant as to. I, I think it's already come up. Right. The finances are discussed in the book. I'll overrule that. Thank you. Ms. Wilson, you can continue your answer. Well, it came up with Mr. Wade as it relates to hearsay statements that he was asked about in relation to what Ms. Willis may or may not have said in relation to an author. So it's not relevant to the testimony that's occurring at this time. I think Ms. Merchant has said that it, inside the book she also makes statements as to her own finances, and that's at issue. So you gave interviews to the authors of this book, correct? Once or twice. Okay. And so three times, um, just to be comprehensive, I don't know if it was three times, two or three times, I think. You were quoted in the book, and I will give you a chance to say if this is a misquote. You were quoted, I really, when they asked you about if you wanted to run for office for DA, you were quoted, I really don't want to be financially effed up again. Do you remember saying that? So what that refers to, so that- My question first is if you remember saying that. I remember saying something similar to that, but I would like to be able to explain what that's, that's in fine. reference to. That's not um, in reference to anything else. It was a huge sacrifice to be district attorney in Fulton County, huge. I was doing just fine. I had a municipal court judgeship that was paying me a hundred something thousand dollars a year and like you gotta show up twice a week, it, easiest thing I've ever done in life. I also had private clients that were um, paying me to represent them. So I was able to have a law practice and that. Um, raising two daughters by myself, there were times in life where things were hard. And so I was telling people, I don't really run for DA. I don't wanna run for DA. I'm in a good position right now. I got this easy job that I enjoy being the chief judge of the city of South Fulton. I'm making money at uh, the law firm. And I'm not sure that I wanna make this sacrifice. And why does it always have to be me? Um, eventually, I prayed. I think that I was the appropriate person. I think that I did that. So when you're referring to that, what I'm saying is, I, why should I make a sacrifice again? And what I was not talking about is being district attorney. Once you get elected district attorney, you're, you're in a fine financial position. I make over $200,000 a year. What I was talking about is, I ran for judge. When I ran for judge, I took $50,000 of my personal money out of my retirement. And that money, ended up being lost. And I know when you bet on yourself, you're gonna to have to bet money on yourself. And so what I was talking about was not wanting to go through the personal financial expense of running for office. By no means did I think that I was going to uh, be financially in a bad position once I won. Let's talk about what I was up against because it's important to understand that comment. I had a district attorney who had been here for 24 years. And Judge, People, no, 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 this is it's very relevant questions. as to what my mindset was about this. So I'm trying to answer your question. So what I was saying is I... Taylor, so it's a finance. Right, but it, it is about my finances. About if I, I didn't, nobody put me in this seat. So I had already run for office once. I had spent $50,000 of my own money running and it was vamoose, nothing. And so when I'm talking to those offers, I'm talking about the contemplation of the sacrifice of the run, not the sacrifice of once you become DA. The odds were against me. I was likely going to lose uh, the election based on who I was running against. So that needs to be in the, the appropriate context. Isn't it true that the authors also wrote, and you can dispute this if, if you'd like, um, that you were broke after that race? The 2018 race, yes. yeah, that was, that was a hard race. I wasn't broke like I didn't have any. So broke is relative to depending where you are, but that hurt to lose that $50,000. So I'm sure my mental mindset was like, I just gave $50,000 away. Right, so they characterized it from their conversations with you that you were broke, you had poured your own money into the campaign and you weren't able to pay your own bills because of your, I'm sorry, your clients couldn't pay their bills to you and you had a paltry, 
array of family and asset forfeiture cases. It says you were trying to make it month to month. Um, is that an accurate depiction of your financial situation at that point? I would want to read that, but I, I don't. I don't remember clients not being able to pay their bills. Or can I approach this? You can. You may. Page thirteen. I have not read this book. So like this back here, her ex-husband Fred had run into a financial, I have no information about that. I didn't that. ask you about that. I just okay. asked about if you were, if what they represent from their interviews with you, that you were broke and that you had clients that weren't able to, to pay their bills. Can you show me where that is? Because this is where you put the tab, so that's where I read. Broke, put it, pay their bills. Yeah, that, that. Uh, I'm sure I characterize myself as broke as leaving that $50,000. I don't know that I had a... Uh, her nascent law practice at Paltry Rev. Well, you just I didn't have. Miss Merchant. I, I didn't. I, test, I thought I had a law practice. I, so this is not correct. I'm okay. sure it's just. I, I, I didn't have any asset forfeiture cases. So I had one case where uh, they had took one of my clients' money at the airport. That's. I don't know if that's what they're carrying. I don't know. Um, Paltry Array. I did have family law cases. I guess that's what they're talking about. And I. Clients who couldn't pay their bills ain't clients, so no. So my question was just if this was a fair and accurate representation where it says you were trying to make it month to month at that point. No, I don't think that that is actually a fair and accurate representation, okay. but I am certain that after the 2018 election, um, I'm still not really happy about having given up that 50000 You know what?